Canned sardines, small, salty, and packed in oil or water, have long been a humble staple in pantries around the world. But in today's age of wellness, clean eating, and food fears, one big question keeps coming up. Are canned sardines actually healthy, or are they silently harming your body? Today, we're revealing the science-backed truth about sardines in a can. And you might be shocked by what you learn. Because while some people swear sardines are a superfood, others are avoiding them altogether. So let's break it down, without hype, without guesswork, just real facts that could change how you look at this tiny fish forever. Let's start with the good news, and there's quite a bit of it. Canned sardines are surprisingly nutrient-dense. Just one small can can deliver more calcium than a glass of milk. A full dose of vitamin B12, essential for brain and nerve health, high-quality omega-3 fatty acids, which fight inflammation and support your heart, plus iron, selenium, vitamin D, and even a little potassium. In other words, you're not just eating fish, you're eating a powerful combination of micronutrients your body needs but rarely gets from modern diets. And because sardines are lower on the food chain, they don't accumulate as much mercury as big fish like tuna or swordfish. That means they're generally considered safer for regular consumption. Now that sounds like a win, right? Well, maybe. Let's look at the other side. Not all canned sardines are created equal, and depending on how they're processed, packed, and eaten, sardines can either help you or hurt you. Let's start with the oil. Many brands pack sardines in refined soybean or sunflower oil, both high in omega-6 fats. And too much omega-6 in your diet can actually cancel out the benefits of omega-3, leading to inflammation over time. So if you're eating sardines for their anti-inflammatory powers, but they're swimming in inflammatory oils, you're losing some of the benefits. Your best bet? Choose sardines packed in olive oil or water. Simple, clean, and effective. Here's another hidden danger, sodium. Canned foods, including sardines, are often loaded with salt to preserve freshness and flavor. A single can may contain over 300 to 400 milligrams of sodium. That's about 15 to 20 percent of your daily limit in just a few bites. For most healthy people, that might be manageable. But if you're someone with high blood pressure, heart issues, or kidney concerns, you need to keep an eye on it. Some brands now offer low-sodium sardines, always read the label. Salt might make them tasty, but your arteries might not agree. Now let's talk about the can itself. Most modern cans are lined with plastic coatings to prevent corrosion. Unfortunately, some of these linings contain BPA, a chemical linked to hormone disruption and long-term health risks. The good news? Many reputable brands have now switched to BPA-free cans. Look for this label clearly marked on the packaging. Still, this is a major reason why some health-conscious people have ditched canned goods altogether. But in reality, the risk depends on how often you're eating them and whether your brand is BPA-free. If you're eating sardines once or twice a week from a safe brand, the risk is likely very low. Here's a fun fact. The tiny bones in canned sardines are completely edible, and they're one of the best natural sources of calcium you'll find. They're soft, safe, and digestible, and they give your body calcium with perfect bioavailability, meaning your body can absorb and use it with ease. So if you're avoiding dairy or struggling with bone density, those little bones might be a game changer. Some people find them off-putting, but if you can get used to the texture, the health trade-off is worth it. You know, a lot of people substitute tuna for sardines without really thinking about the differences. But nutritionally, sardines actually win in several categories. For example, sardines have less mercury, more calcium, and vitamin D, and yes, yeah, slightly higher omega-3 levels per ounce. 
Of course, tuna still has its place, especially if you're looking for lean protein, but sardines are the more nutrient-dense choice for most people, especially seniors, folks with joint pain, or anyone concerned about inflammation. So who shouldn't eat canned sardines regularly? People with gout or high uric acid may want to limit them, you know, because of the purines. If you're on a low-sodium or renal diet, it's a good idea to watch your portions. And if you have trouble digesting oily fish or are prone to acid reflux, just go slowly at first. Again, it's not that sardines are inherently dangerous, it's really about how your body responds to them. If you're unsure, talk to your doctor or dietitian. Okay, so you've decided to keep sardines in your diet. Great choice. Now, how do you make the most of them? Here are a few quick tips. Choose water-packed or olive oil-packed varieties. You can add them to salads, whole grain toast, or brown rice. Combine with lemon, parsley, garlic, or mustard to boost flavor or use them in pasta dishes or even healthy fish cakes. Don't overdo it. One to three cans per week is enough for most people. Oh, and don't rinse off the oil unless it's soybean based. If it's good quality olive oil, you're just throwing away benefits. So, what's the final word? Canned sardines are one of the most underrated health foods you can eat, as long as you make smart choices. They're high in omega-3s, calcium, vitamin D, and B12, protein, and selenium. And they're budget-friendly and shelf-stable, too. But they can also be high in uh, sodium inflammatory oils and, you know, questionable can linings if you're not careful. So are they harmful? No, not if you choose the right brand and eat them in moderation. In fact, if you're trying to improve your heart health, brain function, or bone density on a budget, Sardines just might be one of the smartest foods you can buy. So now that you know the truth, will you keep canned sardines in your pantry? If you already eat them, let me know your favorite way to prepare them in the comments. And, if this video helped you rethink this humble fish, don't forget to give it a like and share it with someone who might be tossing out sardines without realizing what they're worth. Thanks for watching, and remember, your health doesn't have to be expensive, sometimes it comes in a can.